Today when I woke up, I just really, really wanted to do the high-speed wind test with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. The problem is just that there is no wind. So the question is, how should I solve it? And then I came up with a brilliant solution. I'm gonna use a leaf blower and not just any leaf blower. I got this one from Amazon. It's a Greenworks Pro 80 Volt Lithium Max. And that can produce a wind speed up to 145 miles per hour. That is equivalent to 233 kilometers per hour. So see how strong wind the DJI Mini 3 Pro can withstand! Okay, just hold on a little bit because in the manual we can see how fast the air should shoot out from this pipe. But how do we know that that is actually correct? So I got another bright idea. We need to measure the airspeed. So let's see on Amazon if we can find something good that we can use. Wind meter handheld. Two thousand. Oh, that looks good. Let's see what it says. Wind meter for measuring up to 30 meters per second. How much is that? 30 meters per second is 110 kilometers per hour. Well, that's not too bad. We will arrive on Monday. That's way too long. What if I could do it like this? Whoa! It worked! Let's go outside. So we know that the maximum wind speed resistance of the DJI Mini 3 Pro is 10.7 meters per second. And that is equal to 38.5 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. So let's see how far away from the end of the tube from the blower machine we need to be to get that wind speed. Let's turn this on on the red button and then we have kilometers per hour. Let's take so we have meters per second. So now it should be 10.7 meters per second so we know the maximum wind resistance of the drone. So let's turn this on, on maximum blast. Let's see how we do that. Like that. Oh, it's noisy. Okay, and the wind is supposed to come that direction. So let's see when we read. Oh, 24 meters per second. Oh, look. About, oh, that's about one and a half meter away from the mouth or the end of that tube. So let's see what wind she does. They want to get a little closer. Wow, 20 meters per second. Oh, wow, guys. 30 meters per second. And now we are about a half meter away from it. So that is just insane. Let's see what that is in kilometers per hour. Yeah, it's over 110 kilometers per hour, about a half meter from the end of the tube. <laughs> it's crazy fast. So now we know that you need to be about this far away from the leaf blower. This is more than a leaf blower though. To get the maximum wind resistance this end. And then we can just try how close we can be for the drone to not keep up anymore. So now we have the drone in the air and I also would like to try the obstacle avoidance. Does that work so the drone actually backs up if something is approaching it? Let's try it when we are on it. No, it's not. But if I try to run into us instead, let's go a little bit to the right. And if we try to go forward, then it doesn't work. Then it goes around us instead. So just keep that in mind that active track doesn't avoid things that are approaching it if it's not in motion by itself. Okay, so let's try this now because this is about one and a half meter away from the drone. Let's bring up the blower. Okay, we're ready. This is not full speed. Let's increase it. It 
almost smashed into the camera. So we were about a little bit shorter, so 10.7 meters per second, definitely. So now let's see what happens if we blow below the drone and up instead. Oh, I can see that the camera is all off. We got a little bit. Here is forward on the camera, but this is actually forward. But let's try it. Whoa! The drone fell down. Holy crap, I'm happy it wasn't too far up. We are up in the air again. And the drone seems to be fine, it's reset. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's see if there is any difference if we are blowing from the side or from the back. Now I'm maybe gonna blow away the camera, who knows? Let's blow from behind as well. What can you say? I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And I can't just rub my hand around that a drone that weighs under 250 grams like the DJI Mini 3 Pro can withstand a wind speed of this magnitude. It's just insane. So the cinematic mode seems to do the same. Let's switch to sport mode. Well, it's still the same in sports mode. Now we're gonna just measure what wind speed we have from here when we are close to the drone so we know exactly how fast the wind is blowing. I'm gonna get some help from my son here. Now we are gonna start the blower. 17 meters per second. So now we know that it was about 17 meters per second. That's way faster than the 10.7 that DJI say that is the maximum wind resistance. And I, I can't believe that this little 250 grams drone can withstand that. It's, it's fabulous. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up because I'm gonna do more interesting tests. And if you want to, you can also give the super thanks. That's helped me to create more awesome videos. And the next thing you're gonna do that is to watch that video because that is the video YouTube recommended you to watch next on the video on that side. Well, that is the latest uploaded video. Over now from Canada. See you in the next video. Bye.